Hi everyone. So today I'm going to do a quick video on how to clean your Chanel shoulder straps. I've had several emails on how to do it and I'm going to show you how I did mine. Now of course the first thing you want to do is watch my video how to clean your Chanel bag part one and part two so you can know how to use the these products here that I have listed. So you do want to do a thorough cleaning before and I do this probably once or twice a year depending on how often I use my bags. But I'm going to show you how I clean mine and how it's helped me. Now this is nothing <clears throat> like what they do at the Chanel um, factory in France or New York, wherever the people send their precious bags to. I Honestly, I've read forums and I think what they do is they take all this off and they clean it and they replate it. I, I'm thinking supposing that that's what they do but um this is just my way of doing it so i'm going to start here and show you guys how i clean my straps let's put this up here so it's out of the way so all we have are the straps and i'm going to go ahead and zoom in let's see if i can do that so we get a really good close-up of what we're doing. Okay, so right here you're going to note it. You're going to go through your bag and you're going to try and find where they connect. And this is what it looks like. And basically what I did, now I'm trying to do this upside down so, um, so you can see, is I pulled this strap here out a little bit and I inspected the condition. When I first got these bags, this was all torn and broken. And what I did was I just took my sewing needle and just stuck it through there and sewed it together. And that's it. So that's fairly easy to do. And you can do it on this side. And I think I had to do it on the other side too. Yeah, there. But this really doesn't show. So it doesn't really matter. And then what you want to do is you just want to push the leather back down like so. And just get it back into place. This, you want to get this through that little hole there. And just pull it tight like that. And that's basically how I repaired the shoulder strap. It's fairly easy. I mean, if you've got a needle and a black thread, go for it. It's, you can't hurt the bag. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, as you can see, it's very dry here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my product that I use, which is this one here, and I've been very, very happy with it. And it's a cream polish. I take my cloth, and what I do is, I just take a dab like that, and then I just go dook. Duk, duk, just on every single one of those. I'm going to zoom out a little. And this hydrates it, cleans it, and maintains it all in one stroke. stroke. And I just keep pulling. I'm going to do it again. So you can see and just keep putting that there. So I'm going to keep going. And then you kind of have eyeball your stopping point and then you flip it. And you got to do the other side too. For me, this is very relaxing. So it's not a, you know, like a drag, like, oh God, I got to clean my shoulder straps. No, I kind of look forward to it. You can also see how they constructed the bag, which is always very interesting for me. So basically you want to go through all your shoulder straps and do the whole thing, inspect them. And I've noticed that I had a few tears in some of my leather. And I don't know if I did that or if that's how the bag was when I got it. Here they are. There's some tears in it which is fine as long as I keep that hydrated 
and nourished and don't let it dry out, then I don't have to worry about it ever breaking. So once that dries, and I've already done half of it, you're going to take your strap, you're going to take a clean, dry towel. Once again, I use my kids' old clothes that don't fit them. Let me zoom out a little. There we go. And you're just going to rub it. Oops, see this one looks a little strange here. What did I do here? There we go. And so once you get that, there we go. Okay. So we're just going to rub it dry like that. And you're done. Clean, nothing coming off. So you don't have to worry about it coming off on your clothes or anything. And then finally, the last thing I'm going to do, I want to tuck that in there, is take this. It doesn't have to be this brand, just this whole spongy, oily thing. You just want to give it a good brush. That's it. And you've got clean, beautiful shoulder straps. And you don't have to worry about it ever coming off on your clothes or anything because you've cleaned it. And that's how I clean my shoulder straps. I hope this was helpful. And let me zoom out. I hope you watched my other Chanel cleaning videos to see before and after videos of this bag. Should I do it this way? Of this bag and the other Chanel bags that I purchased. So I'm also doing a Q&A with several emails that I got from several viewers on how to do this or how to fix this, the hardware, you know, the colors. So stay tuned for that too. But thanks for watching and I hope this is helpful to all of you. Bye-bye.